Wind protection is extremely important when using microphones. Microphones all have a diaphragm located inside of the mic. This diaphragm is a really thin membrane that moves up and down and responds to air pressure. When we talk, we produce loud bursts of air, especially when we use words that begin with the letters B and P. These letters create what we call plosives. Quick trick, just take your hand and place it in front of your mouth and say B and then P. When that hits the diaphragm, it creates tons of problems, and I'll show you right now. Now I'm going to say the letter P. When you hear the letter P, there's a burst of air that hits the diaphragm and distorts the mic. To correct this, we place a piece of wind foam over top of the diaphragm. And now when I say P, you don't hear the plosive. P, B, explosive. Not there anymore. Explosive, P, B. You can tell the difference. As soon as you move outdoors, now you have wind that you have to worry about. So we have a wind sock, which will slide right over top of the microphone. We have a wind shield, which will go over top of, let's say, a shotgun microphone. A blimp that has a windshield that helps protect the microphone from air that's hitting it from the sides and from the front. The blimp systems are great. We have a, a pistol grip, uh, and then we have a shock mount system that the mic sits on, and then the blimp just slides right over top of it. If you're going outside, personally, I would then turn around and put the, uh, the dead wombat or windsock, whatever you want to call it, uh, over top of the blimp. Let's step outside and hear what these microphones sound like with and without wind protection. So we're gonna have Mr. James say a few lines and we're gonna capture his, uh, his audio with a shotgun microphone that is inside of a blimp with the uh, dead wombat, which is essentially a windsock to prevent the wind from entering the microphone. This is what the microphone sounds like with wind protection. Now we're gonna do that same shot without wind protection. And this is what the microphone sounds like without wind protection. So obviously you can hear the difference. You always wanna use wind protection when you're working outdoors. Another thing to consider when you're positioning the microphone is where the background noise is coming from. So right now we have traffic coming from that direction. So I've got two options. I can scoop from underneath or I can mic from a different direction so that I don't hear the traffic noise. You also want to keep in mind the direction of the sun because that's going to pose a problem for boom shadows on your talent. Let's head back inside and continue talking about wind protection. Remember, your lav mics also are going to need wind protection. So on this guy, I've got a little uh, windscreen. Personally, I always use windscreens on lobs, even if I'm indoors, mainly because my mouth is right here and I'm gonna be blowing on the mic all day long, maybe accidentally. By having windscreen protection, I reduce the plosives that are gonna enter the mic. In general, you always wanna use wind protection on your microphone when working outdoors. I'm Rick Veers and I approve that message. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, make some noise.